inspirational than usual. And that takes a lot of doing. So now we've got now we got Maxine Peake who's gonna read some really inspirational words as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, what an amazing festival, and I'm so honoured to be here. And I'm just going to read an uh, edited version of the oath. Nigel Costley's thankfully edited it down for me for just a page. So, the oath. Stranger, you are welcome, and if you prove sincere, you'll not repent your pains and labour here. We have one common interest and one common soul, which should by virtue guide and accentuate the whole. Our trade requires protection by experience, sad we know. Our duty is to prevent recurrence of our former woe. Our commonwealth was like some savage land where the weak are slaves and the strongest bear command. Where tyrants rule with uncul uncul where tyrants rule with uncontrolled sway, and degraded subjects do the will obey. Such was our domestic lot. Our suffering and our care enraged our minds with sadness and despair. And when we had united and our rights obtained, we found that only half our point was gained. Our interests were so many and so various. The tenure of our rights so frail and so precarious that had we not invented lodges, our protection to ensure and all we would have come to naught as it had done before. Strangers, the design of our lodges is love and unity with self-protection founded on the laws of equity. And when you have our mystic rites gone through, our secrets all will be disclosed to you. We deem you worthy of our friendship, trust and confidence to share. See that you make the prosperity of our cause your constant care. Let your tongue be always faithful, your heart conceal its trust. Woe, woe and dishonour attend the faithless and unjust. We are uniting to cultivate friendship as well as to protect our trade and due respect must to all our laws be paid. Now just after George Lovelace and his five fellow martyrs were sentenced, he seized a pencil and paper and wrote down the following, which I'm sure most of you know. So if you want to join in the last couple of stanzas, that's fine. God is our guide from field, from wave, from plough, from anvil, and from loom. We come, our country's right to save, and speak the tyrant's faction's doom. We raise the watchword liberty. We will, we will, we will be free. God is our guide, no swords we draw. We kindle not war's battle fires. By reason, union, justice, law, we claim the birthright of our sires. We raise the watchword liberty. We will, we will, we will be free. Thank you.